Okay, so we have um, f of x is equal to 1 12th x to the 4th minus 2 3rd x cubed plus 6x. So first we need to find the first derivative. 4 times 1 12th is 4 over 12, which reduces to 1 3rd x cubed minus 2x squared plus 6. All right. Normally, we would go through and find our critical points um, by setting that equal to zero, but we're not looking for that. All right. F double prime, three times one third, that would be one x squared minus four x. The six falls off. Remember, for our inflection points, we set this equal to zero. We'll do it in one step to save space. Now what's common? We factor out this x. x times x minus 4 is equal to 0. So our critical points are 0 and 4. I'm sorry, I said that wrong. Our inflection points. Are zero and four. Okay, so now we have these inflection points. I'm moving up. We set up a number line. Of zero and four. So now, yeah, let's plug in any number smaller than zero. Uh, let's plug in um, negative 5, <clears throat> okay? Negative 5, this will give us negative 5 minus 9, minus 4, which is negative 9. Negative and negative is positive. Let's plug in any number between 0 and 4. Let's just plug in a 1. That would be 1 times 1 minus 4. 1, positive 1, times negative 3, positive times negative, gives us a negative. <clears throat> and now we plug in any number that is greater than 4. These are our test values. Uh, this is use 5. Remember, if you use 5, 6, 10, 20, the results will be the same. 5, which is positive, times 5 minus 4. 5 times 1. So now, we, we know this, we can say it concaves up from negative infinity to zero and also from four to infinity, okay? It concaves down here from zero to four. Of course, we'll see it better um, if you if we can see the entire graph or the brevity. We can't do it, but you can actually see where the curve uh, starts to curve up and down, or concaves up and down. <clears throat>